Yeah, it's Kelly here again, Kells Aquariums. Uh, just a quick look at the tank. This is from the living room side. As you can maybe see by the frame. There's lots of rubbish on there, you don't worry about that. I've just started putting some rock work in. Again, don't worry about it. It's not in like a final position. I, I, this is the first time I've actually looked at it from this side. Because obviously I'm setting up from the other side. And oh, it's going to be a nightmare. So as someone suggested, well, as someone mentioned it'd be a nightmare. Real tempted to put a webcam on this side and have me have a laptop in the other room so I can see, but we'll see. I've uh, just bought some of this stone from my, uh, my local fish shop. My most local, no, it's uh, Lynx Aquatic East Yorkshire, which is Lincolnshire Aquatics East Yorkshire, baffling on the name. But, you know, just bought some stones. I'm going to buy some more. I say I'm, I only ride motorbikes. I went on my shopping bike, which is the one with a big box on the back. And uh, <laughs> did got as much as I could. Well, I say as much as I could, as much as I thought was sensible. I could have fit about double this in, but I'll just go back again another day. I've got my cave in there, sort of buried. I'm going to put some more rocks around. And say the plan is still rocks around the bottom here and tons of wood sort of spiralling up. Exactly as you, as you, if you watch, just go back and watch a couple of videos before, you'll see all the uh, wood I've got if you haven't already. Uh, so yeah, I've got a couple more caves because I am planning on having a good few like uh, of the smaller catfish, smaller sucker mouth catfish in here. So I've got a big ancestor, I've said big, he's, he's a full grown ancestress upstairs. But I, I might get some, is it leopard frog plex and I might get a couple of, uh, oh Jesus, the name's gone out of my head. The, the long sticky ones. <laughs> God, amateur. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some of them. Oh, really? It's gone. Oh, I'm, I used to get punched in the head a lot when I, when I was a lad. So, you know, <laughs> training and stuff. So, my, my, my memory of what it used to be. But, <laughs> yeah, so, whip tails. <laughs> I'll be the, I'm the boss of your brain. Yeah, whip tail cats. I'm going to get a couple of them. And then I'm gonna see what happens with the rest of it. I say I still fancy some Odessa barbs and stuff like that. Well, we'll see. But I'm definitely getting some like little plex and stuff. So I've got a few more caves, which I'm gonna show you now, and a little thing I've just made, which is gonna be part of my sump. Ooh. Right. So on top of this fatty goodie bucket thing, a bit of, bit of, bit of uh, Christmas fun. I've got a couple of new caves. Only little ones, but decent sized entrances is the thing. I found a lot of these aren't big enough for a false grown ancestress to do stuff. But yeah, that's a nice big lump. And I say that one in there is bigger than both of them. You'll, I say if you look back from our videos and search for caves, you'll see. I'm gonna, I'll do it on these as well. I'm basically gonna cover them in silicon and then roll them about in some sand like that. And then you end up with a cave that is just the same as your substrate so you don't actually see them too much so once there's a bit of wood over that and I sweep the uh, sand about a bit you won't even see that cave but if we go to the other side which I'm going to do now whip, back in the room you'll see there's a big old lump of a cave there so you know that'll fit a full growth that'll fit a big plaque in that well maybe like a nine inch one it'll get its head and stuff in there but um so so I'm trying to dodge toolboxes so, as you can see, it's all, oh, I did some capping. <laughs> I've done sort of a capping on this so that it sort of uh, fits better. I've just got to put my side panels back on and we're away. But as you can see, it's got a straight top now. <laughs> oh dear, forgot I'd even done that. Oh, yeah, I've got done loads of stuff. Well, I actually got the right size ones of these. <laughs> so the rest of me had pipe work to fit these will come today. So I can start putting pipes in. By Friday, I've got some big containers, some trugs and stuff coming. So I can take the water out of this and bang it in them. Uh, what the, yeah, take the water out of there, put the wood in some trugs so I can still keep it wet. And then I can start building the sump. So I say I've lost a bit of time with being ill in my hand. So it is what it is. Oh, I thought I was hoping to have all the fishing by while I was off, but it might be the week after. Only because I want to sort of get everything in position, then order the plants, if you know what I mean. So when I'm, so I know where things are going. So it is what it is. 
so probably a week late so maybe not this weekend maybe next weekend we'll have a thing we'll have it running but i say i'm going to get another load of rocks about the same again and then i'm just going to put say so they're not in any i just banged them in the tank to see what they look like against the substrate if i'm being honest i'm not going to build them much higher now they're all going to be in the sand because once all that wood's over the top of them some of that wood I say if you watch them first couple of videos I did of this tank where I just had the wood in, the wood comes up to sort of up here so you get your height from that. I've also got a big lump of wood out my other tank which is going to stick to this wall which is a piece what comes down and then spirals out which I love that bit of wood. So that's going to be the first thing that comes out of that tank. But yeah, we're on the go. Right, what else did I say? Ah, little cheeky something. Woo! Back in the room, back to the celebrations. I'm... <sighs> I'm not promoting Cadbury's are out, I'm just a fatty and someone bought me them. Um, <laughs> so, filter socks is what I'm going for, the first uh, bit of my sum. So, it will. F the idea is that'll sit with a... Oh, it's so hard, to, let me put it there like that. <laughs> so that's going to be in the, the sum, this is going to be the first chamber. There's going to be a wall there, and obviously a wall there. The pipes are going to go down here, fill up, and then it's going to run through there and down into the filter socks. But... Bear with me. I had to. That's um. They're big enough so that that'll sit flush. They'll. Oh, you bass. That'll go right through. But I've built another little piece, which I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have to pause it and come back once. So that. Oh, you. Oh, it's making me look bad. There we are. That ain't making me look bad. My amateurishness is. Uh, so that sits in, but it ain't very flush. So the idea is pause again. Back in the room. So that first plate sits under. And I'm going to glue it on, and then that one sits in. So that does sort of sit flush. So it's still easy to remove. You just pull that bit of plastic, it comes straight out. But it sits them in flush. So you don't have any, you know, there's no chances of it rising and the water just bypassing it. So I've built them. They aren't finished, they aren't sanded or anything. As you can see, they're real rough. Real sharp and dangerous at the minute. But I've done all that. I bought a little tool to do it. I'll show you that because it's cheeky if anyone's after a, an old cutter what's just a bit fruity. Alright, so we're out in the messiest garage in the world. Look, it's a pit. Because I've been doing, I basically got rained off is what happened. I was outside doing some stuff and then the rains came. So, ugh, my garage sucks is what I'll say. It's awesome because it's full of motorbikes. But at the same time, it sucks because you can't actually work in here. Oh, there's a big bit of plastic stuck on it. So I did the cutting with my normal drill and then this little beast here. Oh, it's, oh everything one-handed so hard. Yeah, so I cut the holes with that. Now, it's meant to have two of these prongs on, but I found if I use that, it just smashed the actual perspex to bits. But I took one off and one works and it just goes through. Cut your hole. You've got a bit of a... I don't know if you can see. No, because the light's not great and... I'm terrible at doing videos. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little measuring thing on there. So you just measure how big you want your hole. You put that in your drill and it spins around and it gently cuts through your stuff. Cuts through wood as well. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's that. So, you can see the horror show outside of my, my workbench and look, all that wood. <laughs> but yeah, so with, I'm just going to show you this because this is what I found. With two of the... Uh, Prongs on. It blew that up. But we just want to get cuts. So we're away. 